Kolkata. Chairperson, compensation for injury or death arising from road accidents form an important component of our broader social security net. But I want to start with, with the question of how can a bill that will have serious financial implications on provincial hospitals and provinces be tagged as a Section 75 bill? Surely this bill should be a Section 76 bill. First mistake. As the Congress of the People, we have been concerned with a failure in the good, clean, effective and efficient governance of a road accident fund. The fund has essentially been insolvent and in financial predicament for the past three decades. At the extent of systemic fraud and corruption and, a waste, and wastage affecting the fund, it claims and it operations. Now, Chairperson, the status quo cannot remain and reform is needed. Agreed. However, we do not believe that the most prudent means is by adopting a dual system. Minister, a dual system. RABS does not provide reasonable, fair and practical solutions to the problems and shortcomings of the current fund. In the first instance, we do not support the introduction of a no-fault system, as it means that both the victims as well as perpetrators of the accidents will be able, that will be able to get compensation that there will, as a consequence, be no negative outcome for negligent and reckless drivers. But the quantum of compensation granted to accident victims will significantly reduce, and that the no-fault system will merely add to the already existing financial and administrative burden. Now, if this bill is adopted, we will be further burdened by having to maintain and administer two systems. Yes, Minister, the, the um, RABS is not replacing the road accident fund. The DOT has not done a costing on RABS, and it is estimated that the petrol levy will double, placing a further burden on the poorest of the poor. Now, obtaining medical and police reports with potentially no reimbursement will negatively impact on the ability of the poor and the vulnerable to access benefits from the fund. Administrative staff is now going to make medical decisions and victims will have no recourse. There's no government rehabilitation centres in the Free State, the Northern Cape, Limpopo, Eastern Cape or Mpumalanga. There's six in the Western Cape, two in Gauteng and only two in KwaZulu-Natal. How on earth do we expect victims to travel to other provinces? Six hours ago, you, ANC, were pro-poor and here you are excluding the poorest of the poor. We are concerned that the bill will stop the right to general damages. 9.3 of the Constitution is clear. The state may not discriminate directly or indirectly against anyone or their social origin and age, amongst others. Excluding victims under the Thank age you. of 18 Your time and is now and expired. 60 Thank is you. unconstitutional. Thank Excluding you. teachers, nurses, I'm police officers.